Welcome back internet. In today's video, we're gonna be working on Irked from Hack the Box, so let's get started. I'm gonna open up my terminal, I'm gonna run an nmap scan with uh, default scripts, enumerate versions, uh, the IP address is 10, 10, 10, 117, hit enter. I've already ran it, so let's view those results. Cat nmap sin scripts.nmap. Let me make this a little bigger. And we have port 22, port 80, 111, uh, two IRC ports, and these other ports. Let's check out port 80. Go 10, 10, 10, 117. And we get this little image. It says IRC is almost working. Let's view the source. Yeah, not too much. We'll probably want to grab that image though. So I'm going to run wget 10, 10, 10, 117 irked.jpg. Uh, so I've got it saved. Navigate to robots. And we get a 404 status code. Um, at this point, we should probably just run like a Durbuster. And we'll let that run. I'm gonna open up another tab. We saw these two IRC ports. That's not very usual to see. Um, and if you try to pronounce or try to pronounce IRC D, it kind of sounds like irked. So that's probably a good place to look. I'm gonna run searchploit. Unreal IRC and we've got four results uh, We have this backdoor command execution which would be really solid if we can get a local configuration stack overflow remote downloader and a denial of service uh, This one says it's a metal exploit module. So I'm gonna run MSF console hit enter Um didn't have oh yeah so derb derbuster still running wait derb yeah derb whatever same thing and we're good so I'm gonna run search Unreal IRC one result so I'm gonna highlight it right click copy I'm gonna use right click paste hit enter I'm gonna show options so it only takes the our host and our port. So I'm gonna set our host equal to 10, 10, 10, 117, hit enter. Set the R port equal to 6697. And that's because that's what we have. If it doesn't work, we'll try the next one. And we'll hit exploit. See if we get any results. It looks like we have a session. I'm gonna run ID and we're running as IRCD. I'm gonna run Python dash C import PTY semicolon PTY dot spawn. Ah. I just killed my shell. All right, run it again. I had spelled import wrong. Why didn't you guys tell me? All right, so Python dash C um, quotation marks import PTY semicolon PTY dot spawn um, bracket parentheses I think it's parentheses I don't know uh, forward slash bin forward slash bash um, single quote closing parentheses closing quotation mark semicolon then closing um, quotation mark and now we have a regular shell let's cd into the home directory run ls we have another user called DJ Mardov. 
CD into that. DJ Mardov run ls. CD into his documents folder. Let's we can see the user.txt file. Let's try to read it. And we don't have the permissions. Let's try to run ls-la. We see a dot backup file, which we have read permissions on. So let's run cat dot backup. And it says super elite steg backup password. Steg is steganography. We go back, we have that image. So Derb is, well, Derb isn't gonna find anything, so let's terminate that. Um, you're gonna need to run apt dash get install steg hide, hit enter. I already have it. You're gonna run steg hide, steg hide, extract dash p. Copy this password, paste it in. You're gonna run dash sf for steganography file, and it's called irked.jpg, hit enter. It says wrote extracted data to pass.txt. If we run ls, we can see that here, file on pass.txt, and it's an ASCII text file. So let's run cat on it. We get this gibberish. Right click, copy. We run hash identifier, paste it in. It's not found, so we'll terminate out of that. If we look at our nmap results again, we can see port 22 is running. So if we run SSH, as DJ Mardov at 10, 10, 10, 117. Hit enter. I totally spelled that wrong. Hold on. DJ Mardov, hit enter. Okay, now it's prompting us for our password. If this was your first time, it would say to accept something. You just hit answer or yes, and it'll take you here. So right click, paste, hit enter. And we're on the system as DJ Mardov, LS, CD into our documents folder. Uh, at this point, we can read the file. Um, now we wanna find a root. Um, so we're gonna run find uh, forward slash dash P-E-R-M for permissions. We're gonna look for um, SUID binaries. We're gonna pass in dash, it's dash 4,000. Dash user roots. And we're gonna pipe any errors to dev null. Hit enter. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to run this same command on your Kali box, and anything on your Kali box is assumed to be safe and not vulnerable. So we match them up, and if, okay, like this is gonna be on our Kali box, we can ignore that um, binary. And then whatever's left, we're gonna to wanna to research them uh, most of them are going to come back as standard Linux binaries. One that sticks out is this view user. There's going to be no information on it. So we're going to try to run that and see what it tells us. It says temp list users is not found. So what happens if we CD into that temp folder? We create that file. Now, if we try to run that same command, Now it's saying permission denied. So we know that this binary is running as root, but it's getting permission denied. If we run ls-la, 
there's no execute permissions on this file. What happens if we change um, its file permissions? Hit enter. If we run that same command again, we're getting no errors, but it's executing a blank file. So let's add something to it. We're gonna run um, echo uh, apostrophe, um, pound sign forward slash bin forward slash bash, um, the single quote, we're gonna do greater than list users we're going to run echo um, forward slash bin bash and we're going to append it to list users. So let's view the contents really quick. So that's what we have. We're going to run view user again. And we saw that our um, shell went from a money sign to a pound sign. So if we run ID, we're running as root. If we navigate to the root directory, run ls, we're free to come in. Um, we can do word count on root.txt and we have root privileges. What's that pass.txt though? Oh, it's um, DJ Mardov's password. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.